Hi, I'm M. Angel, and I am here today to talk to you about dreams. What are dreams? Where do they come from? And more specifically, why are there some people that seem to just discourage you and still doubt in you, making you doubt your own dreams? Let's start with an exploration of what dreams are. I've come to believe through my life experience that we are given dreams or we have chosen dreams before coming into this existence if you want to believe so, but that dreams come from another place. They come from the source, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. They come from a certain source of energy since we are made of matter, right? And matter is energy in motion. So that's what we are. We are energy. We are part of this great thing called life. And that's where our dreams come from this immaterial, unknowable source. And we all have such different dreams. They differ from one person to another. That's what makes us unique. And you may have come with a dream fully formed as a kid. You know what you want and you've just been doing that thing that you love since you were a kid. But for most of us, we don't know. You may have many dreams. You may like to do many things, but you don't know if you really have a dream, a passion for your life. And over time, as you grow older, it materializes. If you're open to it, it materializes and you start to see a little clearer what it is that you want to move toward. However, there's always going to be that little something that was inside of you as a kid. It was always there, dormant. Because a dream is bigger than just a vision. It's bigger than just a story. It's an experience and it's a discovery. So you're not going to see your dream as it is before you reach it. Impossible. I like to take Oprah as an example because she is just such a role model and an inspiration for me. When she was younger, she wanted to be a journalist. That was her dream. That's what motivated her. That's what she pursued. And look where she is today. Just a mogul, amazing, a mover and shaker. And when she was a kid, I doubt she could have envisioned this future for herself. However, there was certainly something inside of her that people around her could see. And looking back now, they probably think, Oprah, that girl, when she was young, she always had a knack for helping people and she was a good listener or she spent time creating harmony in certain environments. Just little things like that, I'm sure she exhibited, she exuded, because that was in her. I believe we are given the tools throughout time to realize those dreams. Your dream is given to you for a reason and you will realize it. You might not know how, and that's completely normal. That's how it works, right? But as you move toward it, doors will open and you will gain the tools to access that dream and more. Again, coming back to Oprah, I'm sure she didn't envision her life the way it is now. How could she have? Take examples around you. My example is my mother. She came from a small village in Bakonji, Cameroon, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. And now she's living this international life, traveling the world, running organizations. And there is no way she could have envisioned such a life for herself as a kid in Bakonji. But what she did have was faith and trust in herself. And she listened to her intuition for the most part. And that's what I think is your greatest guide in life, intuition. I like to think of it as a spiritual mentor, the part of you that is connected to the beyond, that sees the bigger picture. And you're just living that little piece, the video game character, if you want, going through the game. But the gamer, knows where you're going. And your intuition whispers to you all the time. You know it, it doesn't shout, it suggests. It tells you, you know, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should do this right now. Hmm, wouldn't it be fun if we could maybe try that? Ooh, I get a good vibe from this. I have a good feeling about this. Sometimes we listen to it, we pay attention for the better, and other times we neglect to respect that voice and we often do come to regret it. We are even sometimes taught not to listen to our intuition. For people who grew up like me, in the Western world, we have been formatted since childhood to listen to other people's voices, to trust in others more than ourselves. They have the knowledge. They have the experience. They know what's right for us. We are taught at school to ingest information, to obey, to follow orders, to be followers. But when you look at the people who have shaped this world, people who've made a difference, have become legends and geniuses and all this, they traced their own route forward. They followed their intuition. They respected and trusted themselves to jump into black waters. So maybe we are born with the answers to a certain extent and inside we'll know when we need guidance from others and when we don't. So let's go back to childhood. 
when we would dream openly, fearlessly, shamelessly, proudly. We would tell people about our dreams. We would just share our desires wholeheartedly, excitedly. And we were either met with giggles and smiles and encouragement or the opposite. And I think over time for a lot of us, we were met with the opposite, with resistance, with fear, with doubt. And for a lot of people, it led to them letting go of a dream. Yeah, you're right. It's not for me, it's not gonna happen. But do you feel good when you say that to yourself? When you give up on your dream because someone else told you it can't happen? It seems that there are many reasons why people will discourage you from your dream and why it's absolutely normal for them to do so. First of all, your dream is yours. It is tailor-made for you and you have the eyes to see it. Here's an example. Let's say you get lost on your way home and you ask somebody, excuse me, how do I get home? Most of us don't expect a complete stranger to have the answer, to be like, oh yes, your home is this way, right? How are they supposed to know where you are going? Let's take this example even further. You give somebody more detail. How do you get to the intersection of this and that? Maybe this person has been there before and they can actually help you and guide you there. But if the person has no idea what you're talking about and has never been there, they can't help you. But think about it. Would you believe someone if you asked them, oh, how do I get to this location, a location that you know is real, and they tell you, uh, I don't know that you'll ever be able to access this place. Why not? Just give me the directions or at least point me in the direction and I'll figure it out, I'll get there. You won't just be like, you know, you're right. This person told me that I can't get there. It's just not meant for me. So I'm not going to go to that cafe or I'm not going to go to that museum. No, you would go. You'd just be like, okay, weirdo. I'm going to keep on my journey. <laughs> so I kind of see dreams in that way. A colorblind person won't be able to see your painting full of colors in the same way. People sometimes may see your vision through their eyes with their tools. And if they don't have that thing inside of them that can get them to that dream, they won't see it for you. They won't see it for themselves. And then they will project and they won't see it for you. But it has nothing to do with you. Maybe you do have that thing that they don't have that makes it possible for you to see that dream, to feel that dream, to live it in your head as if it's real. Moreover, these people are the same people who have given up on their own dreams. So subconsciously, not always consciously, they are operating from a place of disbelief. They don't think they can do it. So why would they think you can do it? Make sure you know who you're talking to. Make sure you know who you're getting advice from. Try to look at this person's life and see how they operate. Do they operate from a place of confidence and strength? Or are they the type to even doubt themselves? Because in the end, it's never about you. It's really about them. Some people may even, this is in the case of bad relationships, be it friendship or romantic, they may discourage you from moving towards your dream because it doesn't serve them. They see you going in a direction that pulls you away from them, that scares them. And selfishly, maybe subconsciously, they will tell you you can't do it. Yeah, but do you know that this is really hard to do because this is this is this is this? Are you ready to take on the da 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 da? They're afraid you'll succeed and you'll leave them behind. That's also something to be mindful of. It's important to surround yourself with people who believe in themselves and who believe in you. But first and foremost, you must believe in yourself no matter what people say. I think of mothers as a very interesting support system. If you have a healthy mother who isn't fighting her own demons, who hasn't been beaten down by life and circumstance and hasn't lost her connection to her own self of sense and confidence and power. If you have a full mother loving, warm hearted, open, present mother. She knows who you are inside. She's seen you grow. You are a piece of her. So to a certain extent, she can feel what you're feeling and she can see when you light up, when you pursue a dream and she will encourage you. A great mom is an unlimited well of support. And if you are so lucky to have one, use that well up, drink from it, baby, drink from it. In general, I would just advise, I've seen it work in my own life. Surround yourself with people who bring positivity and joy and who believe in their own dreams. Because a person who is pursuing their own dream, who believes in themselves, who believes in the yes I can, yes we can, yes you can, they will more 
often than not see the light inside of you when you talk about your dream and they will recognize that light because it's the light that they feel when they talk about their dreams and they pursue their dreams and they will encourage you towards what works for you. They will open doors for you. They will help you walk through those doors and they will always support you to move forward. They will be excited. They will want to join you on your journey. That's when you know that this person right here, they're operating from a place of light. They are connected to their intuition, to their divine guide, if you will. In conclusion, don't internalize other people's doubts when it comes to your dreams and your visions. You're the master of your universe. Remind yourself, you can do it. What are your thoughts? What's your take? What is your experience? Please share in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you like what you saw, click on that like button. Maybe share this video with people and subscribe to Amangel Says for more content if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amangel signing out. Peace.